To have a truly successful track and field season, one huge factor is being in shape. It's very hard to be in shape when you just pop into track and field in February and expect to be in peak shape in the next, you know, six to eight weeks. A full calendar year and a full-time track and field athlete makes a huge difference. There are full-time football players, basketball and soccer, etc. that are in their sport year-round and they're going to get better. However, you have your pros and cons with overusing muscles. The best benefit with track and field is it's a training sport. It's all about getting stronger and more flexible and etc. So the first part about a summer program is not about the running part of it. It's about the motor skills and the movement skills and so on. The Dan Path warm-up, it's a great tool to use. Now as you can see, they're moving side, forward. It's, it's reiterating the motions of running and most events in track and field require a form of running so as you can see here they have the high knee straight leg marching right leg and left leg recoveries etc all these things correlate to their running mechanics so when they do their strides and start to do some running their motions and their rhythm is a lot smoother and that's the main key and athletes, once they get it, they start to look a certain way, and that really helps them overall. Now, when it comes to the workout, four corners is pretty much self-explanatory. You're on a field. You're going to start at station one, do a station. You're then going to form run across the field in a diagonal direction. When you get to station two, you're then going to do that station. Then you're going to do a side shuffle. When you get to station three, you do that station. Then you do a forward run again, station four and then you side shuffle from station four back to one typically should be around five minutes per round and you're going to try to squeeze in three rounds so what I had them do today was a med ball squat to toss the main focus is having them understand that the ball needs to be tossed from their feet from the ground up not the arms then they're going to run across the field again reiterating proper form and mechanics in their run I also had them do 20 total split squat jumps the main focus is having them land correctly and just kind of get the motions down of compressing and getting out of position. Here is their side shuffle. Then they got to a two-step jump over a hurdle, tucking the legs up and landing and loading correctly. The main focus is that land and load. When it comes to the land and load, they're only going to do six jumps. Then they're going to run across the field and get to the cherry pickers. Main thing is about reaching with the chest not the arms that keeps their posture back then they'll finish out with another shuffle and then that completes the one round today I had them do three times a round which was 15 minutes a five minute break then another set of 15 minutes so essentially it came down to 30 minutes of cardio which is more calisthenic based and it helps them with the quick twitch fibers and it really is a good way to get their base set if you have any questions on the reps and sets or anything else, please give me an email at info at